In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Rode PodMic USB, a $199 dynamic microphone from Rode that allows you to use USB or XLR. We're going to talk about all the features of this build quality and give you some, you know, EQ'd and un-EQ'd audio so you can really see what this sounds like out of the box and once you put a little bit of uh, tweaking to it to make it sound the way that you want it to sound. So yeah, let's roll that intro and jump into it. What's going on guys, Chad here. And yes, we're taking a look at the Rode PodMic USB. For those of you that are viewers of the channel and have seen some of the other content that we put out, you might notice that this PodMic has actually been used in quite a few videos. And there are some benefits of this over some of the previous microphones Rode has made similar to it. And the first one is very obvious and the name is USB. We have the ability to connect this microphone over USB to our computer. And I do wanna go ahead and state before we start talking about the build quality that this microphone was sent to me by Rode to review and they don't have really any say. I'm gonna say whatever I want about this because this is not a sponsored video. Let's go ahead and talk about the first thing with the build quality, and that is that it does come with a pop filter that's custom molded to this microphone, and I'm gonna take it off. And that is where we hit our first pro and con about this microphone. This is a pro. This is a very well-made custom pop filter that fits perfectly. It feels like it's molded perfectly to this microphone, and it actually, in my opinion, looks really good. I do think this looks better by itself, you know, this grill and this metal design just looks really good, but this pop filter does not look bad and it fits perfectly on this microphone. The con I will say is I feel like this microphone does need the pop filter. For my testing with plosives, which if you don't know what those are, it's basically like the P's and Q's and sounds of where you're basically blowing out air whenever you're talking and it's kind of harsh. It, it does pick them up and it does sound kind of harsh. And that's the main reason I like to use this, but I'm going to leave it off while I talk about the build quality so you can really see firsthand what the difference is in the sound with those plosives. So build quality. Yes. Like I mentioned, this is basically all metal it, minus these adjustment knobs here, this grill on it. Um, the body of it is just all metal and it's really nice and high quality. It also has this arm that comes with it right here, from here up. And this basically gives you the ability to loosen these knobs. And we have some adjustment forward and backwards right here. My XLR cable is kind of getting in the way here, but um, you could unplug that and mount it kind of different if you need to, to uh, really get some adjustment of where you want it on your mic stand. So having that adjustment is really neat as well. We have two ports down here on the bottom. We have a USB port right here. This is a USB type C. So yes, you can plug in with USB type C, plug it into your computer and have audio over that. I'll talk about the differences in the audio quality between XLR and USB in a second. We do have an XLR port right here, which is what I'm currently using. And then right here we have a headphone port. So you can plug your headphones into it to monitor audio from your microphone and even play back audio from your computer, which is really neat. And then at the very top, we have a volume slider. So we can actually adjust that little wheel and get louder or quieter volume, whatever you prefer. And then the last point here is this base. This base actually gives you the ability to swivel the microphone on it without turning out the threads. So you can thread it in here on the bottom and you can actually swivel the top without that loosening, which is really convenient if you need to position this. And I'm just going to go ahead and state this off the top. This is a great designed microphone for a podcast or YouTube and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm going to put this back on because I, I know what it sounds like without it. And I don't like the audio without this on. So I'm going to slide this on. So yeah, I, I do think this is a great microphone for podcasts. And I do want to mention Rode does offer some really neat microphone stands for them. I'm actually not using any microphone stand from Rode right now. If I was to pick up a new microphone stand for this personally, for the type of videos I shoot, I would actually probably go with the Rode PSA one plus just because of the build quality and the design of it is a really solid microphone. And then also if you're going to be using this for a podcast, Rode did also send me out for review a Rode DS2 desktop studio arm. And this thing is awesome. This is perfect for a podcaster. It just gives you the ability to adjust it and put it however you want. It compacts really low. 
For me in this use case, I don't think this works as well because if you're going to be using a keyboard, it's hard to get the microphone close to you. So I will state that. If you plan on using this for a podcast, this is going to be, in my opinion, probably one of the best stands that you can get for it. If you're going to be using it for YouTube videos, tutorials, and stuff like that, I'd probably recommend the PSA1 or PSA1 Plus. And I'll have links for all this stuff down below. All right, so there we go. There's the build quality. There is some mounting options for it and kind of explaining that. Let's go ahead and get into a test of the audio. So basically everything you've been hearing so far has been, well, with or without the pop filter previously, and then also with EQ provided. So that's going to be my pre-EQ that I like to do through my Elgato uh, Wave XLR, or if I was using the Rode X, I would uh, apply the same EQ curve through that. And then also I do a little bit of adjustment with the audio in post. So let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like with no EQ. This is what it sounds like just raw out of the box, no EQ adjusted. The only thing I'm adjusting in post is the gain and making sure that my levels sound about right and similar to what it sounded like earlier. But other than that, there is no adjustment to the vocals and how they sound. So that is without any EQ. And now we're back with EQ. So there's a, just a little bit of a firsthand experience of what it can sound like with or without EQ and what it sounds like out of the box. So let's get into my opinions on this microphone. What do I think? I've been using this microphone for over a month now and I have to say that this is my favorite microphone that I currently have. And at 199, it is kind of expensive, but I will say that what you get out of it with the XLR and USB options is you get the ability to upgrade. You get the ability to plug in with USB on your computer. It's convenient, it's easy, and it does sound good. I really don't see any difference between the XLR and the USB audio coming out of this device. So it gives you the ability to upgrade. Go with USB at first, and then if you need to get an interface later, it's a really good option. And at 199, it's a really good sounding microphone for that. Let's talk about the differences between XLR and USB because I really don't think there's much difference in audio quality other than the ability to set like EQ and do some effects on your audio beforehand. The main benefit over USB, which is actually one that I like, and one of the reasons why I've started using audio interfaces a long time ago is I like to be able to monitor my audio. And you actually don't get that ability with most microphones out of the box. This one you do. So if you're using USB, you can actually plug your headphones into that headphone jack we talked about previously. I think that's right here. Yes, right here. And then we can actually adjust the volume directly here and we can play our videos, our games, our music and everything back through there and hear that through our headphones. But we can also hear ourselves, our audio from our microphone and be able to, you know, kind of hear what we're saying, what we sound like. And we don't get that point of where we're talking or doing a voiceover for something. And we're talking way too loud because we can't hear anything. We're talking way too quiet because we think we are talking too loud. I don't know. Headphones on really messes with how you speak. So, all right, guys, that's going to be all. I like this microphone. I'll have links for it in the description down below. Let me know what you think. Did do you think the raw audio sounds good? Do you think the EQ sounds good? Do you want to see a video on EQ? Let me know. Do you want to see a video on the road streamer X? Let me know in the comment section down below. And I will also go ahead and mention that the video that we have on the road DS2, that stand that we think looks really, really good for podcasting. Um, I'm going to have a YouTube short coming out on that very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out one of these videos listed down below. YouTube says you'll like one of them, so give it a shot and get subscribed if you aren't already. Like only three to two percent of the people that watch our videos are subscribed. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, we got, we got a schedule coming out soon. So we're gonna actually be uploading two full videos a week and two YouTube shorts. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and get subscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you take your tech to the next level. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.